Okay. Being black, uh, pit, it's very, it's very like obvious, like strict. But yes, that's exactly how I would see it. Ying, Blackbeard, Valkyrie, and the pulse at the end. Bench, Windows. Sorry, not Hyper. It'll be the Vault in from Acid, the Dispatch of Laxing. Mark will fall in tandem, and now it's Skies alone who collects one from inside a connector. But his mirror window is popped, being pinched from every single conceivable angle to move. But, oof, Mark's so close to finding the kill in the back on England, but we'll have a, a pretty easy ingress in there. Finally, Fox has been taken away on the mute, and two oh kills in a row. Wow, they chained him with the L85. Hyper. And Mark and Retro taken away. Headshots galore. Laxing in skies. The duo last two alive versus the five here. Now their opponents, but Nomad already set up her air jab. And it's definitely having an effect. As Acid will find one more kill. And a second one as well. A great bit of play there. Just peek around through the hatch and fight skies. Kind of just both line up for him. And there you go. Like Rise have completely opted to swap up the take here. You got three people stacked inside of the front lobby, and they'll push into circle desk four now as they've missed the drone on the backside, but England will still collect the kill, and the Mark Retro will fall, laxing with two, though, as they line up for him in the kitchen doorway. England still pressing into the kitchen, and it's gone zero to 100 in a heartbeat as laxing is in behind the black car, awaiting acids push down yellow stairs, missing crucial shots through the windows. He's got pressure on his backside. Flashbangs come soaring over those kill holes on the top of the wall. Vandal is down, it's to 2v3. Foxe will collect the kill, but immediately be downed in turn, and now rushing down yellow is acid. Foxe will Fall. Waxing at Yellow Pillar removes Acid from play. A 1v2 unsuccessful for England as a rush for Rise all falls to pieces. Waxing. I think that was three on the round for him. Four on the uh, What are you doing? Maestro Camera is going to get destroyed here by Cl Crazy. Just a bit of semblance of logic being put into play as Laxing runs out. He finds a second kill and a third one! Laxing absolutely massive! Fox with one to connect on a Crazy. Acid is last man alive. Pour from Rise to just flex around as Laxing will find one more two rounds in a row as you need to bring a grenade. And I'm not sure if Gracie has anything on the buck to kind of help with this. He's going to oh. use it, though, to blow open a hole in Laxing and still have an extra grenade. England won't even need anything as he just bypasses the evil eye. This forces the Maestro to get on it. Mark will run around from the back, find the kill in the Capital. Can he get the second one as well? No, it's England to turn around and stop the plant. Go for the kill, and Mark will go down. Skies has a soft mirror window for him to use, but Retro, unfortunately, misses a close shot there. Four players left alive from Rise Nation as Retro is so low. Fox is now taken away. You just need to stop the plant. Crazy will find one more. Skies is last alive with no... Which is great, but I'm not sure if Skies will be able to make it through. No, it's England to land the fire. All the utility being thrown in the back. Rise will move in. England... Not taking any damage, but he's not even going for the plant so far. It'll allow Hyper, though, to move in and go for the bait. Mark will find the kill on Vandal as it's not the one that he's looking for. Hyper will find one more just sitting in between the van. Crazy with one more grenade on a Fox and Retro is last man alive against the four. Rise Nation looking to go up 4-2 at the end of the half. Retro has quite a, work, quite a bit of work to be done. You see, there's so much time for Rise Nation, they're already outside. All the players just looking at it. There's probably already no matter jab on that on that diffuser. You're just <laughs> Hey guys. How are you now? This is Kill Bill Volume 4. This is Kill Retro. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Manage. Slightly on the side of Reciprocity now as Mark will dispatch a Vandal. You still have the connector control, and as he looks away, a peek comes out. Hyper will take down Retro, and another one in his body count for Mark. So it's all down to Laxing now on a 1v4, pushing through. Oh! What a shot by Laxing. Drops Hyper and Crazy now rushing through. He still has the Yokai's to worry about, though. And now it'll disorient him. Massive with one shot. Another one for Laxing down to the 1v1, but there's not enough time. Laxing has to push for the kill on 5 HP. Oh, but Acid will close it out. Nobody can shoot you. Just a shot in, in midair, there's C4, but not the second one. It's Hyper will connect, but Skies already finds another one. Refrag on to Vandal himself. Hyper the back with a Nitro Cell. Laxing will peek up and find one on a Hyper. It's crazy and Acid, the last two in. Acid will find one, but Skies moves in. And Retro with a Refrag. 1v3 for Crazy. A lot of rounds in the mag, but that's the fuser on the floor. This can really end Ryze's way. Ella's gonna... Well, not the... The meeting for that hatch control. 
the opposite side of the connector wall back and forth. You've also got Retro upstairs no longer as he'll meet his demise as he will fall to a headshot. Another one for Hyper upstairs. Acid collects as well. It's all falling apart for Reciprocity and for the second consecutive week. Trust oh, though. Oh, he's going to make it in behind the desk. No, crazy. will connect. Mark will also be down on yellow, but pushing up long desk. He's again the same with the pings through the oh! floor. The yokai's again. Crazy with another victim, but there's so much time. They can get Mark back up. They can recover the diffuser. The only issue they will have is those yokais. Right past Laxing in the bench hallway. Uh, he's making it all the way up. Spiral. Laxing has no idea. Oh, he's turning the corner. Oh, and Laxing just narrowly evades the finishing blow from... Anybody from Rice even knows that he's there, and there you go. He'll find the smoke. He'll drop on down, and it's all clear. Laxing will find another one. A freebie on to Crazy, and now it's Skies with the kill on Hyper. Vandal, he'll come on out, and we'll actually not connect. Retro still going in for the plan. They know where the Capitao is, and it's everything being pinged here. All you need to do is just stop the Diffuser from being planted, and they'll be successful in doing so. Crazy. The finisher on Retro. Vandal with a re an extra frag onto Mark. Leaves Skies all on his own versus the four, and he's being tased and teased. Buys the Maestro Evil Eye. So little time left on the clock. Rise Nation looking to clock out uh, this game. Nasset will find the last one. GG well played. Um, They're definitely more structured than they have been in the past. I think that kind of comes like you get over that new team high, you know, the honeymoon phase, and you yeah. start to play a little more structured. So uh, that that kind of benefits the rest of the league. Don't tell them I said that. But we, we had to get a game plan going in. Uh, a lot of credit goes to Remorse, uh, you know, our new coach. Mm -hmm. Uh, we prep for this map and a couple of others. Uh, you know, it, we're a new team, so the the work has been done. I, I want to say, between your results uh, last week and you know, you you beat SS, SSG seven one at the end of the the first half, right? It it didn't really have the 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 same effect the week after it with with you going down to them, but it was a pretty darn close game on Oregon. That was with the change of players. It was the first week understandable everybody will fit in if you're already putting up a decent um a decent enough result at the end of the play day right your first one together you know then then you go last week you weren't playing but now you're doing work reciprocity didn't really know how to react to you in the matchup but one thing we tried to highlight as well is maybe it's just both of you teams are just more comfortable on the attacking side. Did you feel that on your on your end? It's just more with player comfort, or was it more the strategies and how they were prepared? Uh, to be honest, I think both teams just played bad on D. Uh, Fair enough. We we we, we could have went flawless on offense. We the two rounds we lost were, you know, we definitely could have won them. Uh, the rush almost worked. Uh, it was kind of sloppy on our end. A little hesitation. That's on me. Um, I think on defense, both teams just uh, consulates. People might think it's defensive sided. It, it can go either way, especially if you know what that team's gonna do. Mm. You know, this level of prep, you know, you kind of you expect to see certain defense, and you practice against it all week, and you know it. It kind of just it works on offense more often than not. Do you think that pulse ban played uh, against you, or was it ultimately to the to the well? I don't know the the disbenefit, I guess, of of reciprocity. I mean, I think we're known for running pulse a lot, even mm -hmm. back all the iterations of the team. And we said, you know, we, we expected three possible defensive bans, mm -hmm. and we got one of them. So we were prepared for that. It wasn't like a, a big deal for us. We've we've practiced with against a team that actually banned it before in a scrim, mm -hmm. and it was actually it was, you know, I'm glad we got that experience. And you know. It, Definitely wasn't a shell shell. Like, we didn't get blindsided like we did versus SSG when we saw all of a sudden we couldn't six pick, no reveal phase. And, yeah, you know, you know, we definitely, it helps us a lot being able to six pick, even though we we didn't even six pick uh, the last attack, uh, defense up top when we st stuck on mirror. We posted six pick. Uh, that's on me for not telling Acid to six. <laughs> so, yeah, we had mirror <laughs> up top that didn't do anything for us. It, yeah. it wasn't it the, the the round where it just got shot through the windows, right? Or yeah, he said, "Oh, I forgot the six pick," and I was like, "All right, just <laughs> put him down, bro." You know, <laughs> it it happens, and this is it uh, does. This is why um, 
I really enjoy interviews with New England just because it kind of humanizes everything and people start to understand, including ourselves as well, you know, that mistakes do happen and they're okay in the moments themselves, they might not be. It's just you need to learn from them. And the team has been learning. You'll have your, sh your shot later on as well. I mean, uh, what, next week you, you also have a tough game you're playing against EG. I mean, let's talk about that maybe for a second. Feel that after your victory today against Reciprocity and the way you were playing things, can you just feel more comfortable playing against Evil Geniuses with the way the lineup is performing at this hour? Um. EG is a uh, EG's EG. We've we did pretty well against them in the past. Mm -hmm. Nothing like haven't been steamrolled. Uh, I think as we get better, and we are getting a lot better, even the scrims and everything. I think we'll match up better. I think by next week we'll be prepared. It should be a good match. You know, I got a lot of friends on that side, and they prep really well. And Gotch is a great coach, so you know. You know, we might pull out something special, you know, who knows? Uh, you know, just like, you know, we, you know, we like to ruin seasons now. That's what we're yeah. in for right now. We're just, you know, you know, like, we're kind of like deciding who goes to land in a sense. Exactly. So, you know, uh, well, yeah. The yeah, hit you know. to reciprocity is definitely going to hurt them.